Hey everybody, welcome back to the podcast, the Project Investigation Collaboration, the collaboratory podcast between the Veritas Project and Investigator Todd. And if you're wondering who these two goofy guys are on your screen, uh, right here we have Wiki Bob, the man who knows more about the paranormal than I will ever learn. <laughs> he also has the best wardrobe in the paranormal business, and he is our gracious host, Robert Curtis, founder of the Veritas Project, yeah. and I am Investigator Todd of Investigator Todd Paranormal, and welcome to the podcast. Today's podcast is brought to you by Haunted Person Syndrome. Haunted Person Syndrome, where simply talking about it gets you infected. Check previous podcasts for details. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if your your house is too quiet and, and you're getting too much sleep at night, you could. T research haunted pe person syndrome and it'll fill and get up. it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and just simply talking about it, right. haunted person syndrome. So today, today we're talking about the Winchester Mystery House. Yeah. And the biggest thing about the Winchester Mystery House, um, before we get into the details, the overview is basically Sarah Winchester, uh, the the widow of uh, William Wirt Winchester mm. felt that she was terrorized by all the souls of the people that her husband's weapons killed yeah. and continued to build and build and build on this house because, and it is confusing, it's like, it's a, it's like a maze and stairs and yeah. things go to her, but basically she kept building on this house the entire time she was alive to confuse the spirits. Right. That is the big overview of what, what we got going on here today. And uh, absolutely Yeah, they had awesome. seances and she had mediums come in and they would give her guidance on what to build and, and how to con continue the uh, construction of the house. And it, it got out of control. Way <laughs> out of control. Um, also, if you go to their webpage, for eight ninety nine, you can purchase a three D tour. Yeah, and uh, I believe you get to keep that, so you can you can do whatever you want. You know, you can use yeah. it as many times as you want, walk go through it. But it's like walking around in there. So, um, so basically, like I said, Sarah built the built house. The construction was started in eighteen eighty four. Now they did call her Sally because that was her mom, but. Who knows why they call her Sally? Uh, yeah. It was after her paternal mother. So, um, <laughs> so she started building in 1884 and continued up until 1922 when she passed away. Yeah. And so it's in San Jose, California, and initially it was an eight-room farmhouse, right. right? And it was intended to just be a personal residence, uh, and and that was it. You know, a means to appease the spirits. Right. <laughs> With the continued building, um, it ended up being 166 rooms. Okay? Um, Crazy. Or, excuse me, 160 rooms, not 166. 160, sorry. Right. Um, there's doors and stairs that lead to nowhere. Right. Um, just dead end hallways, uh, windows that overlook other rooms. And I can see why they would do that if, like, you built an outside wall and then decided, oh, I'm going to build another room here. Right. You know, you'd have a window in this wall and it just looks down into... Into another room. Into another room. <laughs> um, a staircase that literally goes up multiple levels and then at the top you just go over the top and it goes back down. Yeah. There's um, a staircase that goes up to the ceiling, too. Yep. Well, there's no opening yep. on the other end of it. And then there's secret passages and trap doors and... Basically, it is a, a giant fun house, for lack of a better <laughs> right. description. It's just I a mean, mess. it's just a massive fun house. So, <laughs> Erica says, Dr. Bob and Todd fix me, because she has a uh, haunted person syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> so, this thing is 24,000 square feet. Yeah, 10,000 windows. 2,000 doors. Yeah, 52 skylights. And 47 wow. fireplaces with 17 chimneys. Now that seems a little lopsided. Yeah. Like so <laughs> some of those fireplaces aren't connected to the chimney. Or they're or they're like fireplace on one side of the room in the back and it's a shared chimney, maybe. Yeah, it could be. 
You know, I mean, it makes sense. If you could tap into another chimney, why build a whole other chimney? Yeah. Have you seen, I just saw this the other day, um, that in some of the other, some other countries, they build these chimney walls where it's, the chimney actually goes back and forth and the heat goes through and goes back and forth and actually heats both sides of the room. The actual chimney shows on the other side of the room so the heat can go all the way through the wall and heat the wall. Oh. And then up and out. I haven't seen that. Yeah, I just saw that the other day. It was kind of mm. kind of an interesting... Sorry, first rabbit hole of the day. You know. So that's all. I've seen some construction, uh, colonial construction, where the, the fireplace is one of the walls of the house. Yeah. The brick is the entire wall, you know. Nice. So that way when you get it nice and heated up, it heats that whole end of the house. Yeah, first of many rabbit holes, absolutely, Erica. <laughs> we definitely go down a rabbit hole or three. Um, so basically, they built on this house for 38 years, yeah. right? So, and there was no master building plan. It was all improvised. Right. Right? It was spur of the moment. And now, when we say this was worked on for 38 years, we're not talking guys coming in at 8 o'clock in the morning yeah. and working until 5 construction went on in this house day 24 hours a day yep they worked on this house continuously so uh i mean they used high quality materials right and and modern technology for the time right um you know and it's considered unfinished because she worked on it and she had him working on it up until the died. day she passed away yeah so it is considered unfinished yeah and then just just the thought could you imagine of her thought thinking that she has to continue to build and you obviously being winchester the money was still rolling in oh yeah and she was still you know able to buy whatever she needed for this construction yeah and get whatever she wanted and and whatever kind of woods were needed the high quality stuff right right so you know and and the place is believed to be haunted by the spirits of those that were killed by the Winchester rifles, and that's yeah. why she did this. Yeah. Right? Um, she consulted, like Bob said before, she consulted mediums right. and, and stuff mediums like that. Told her how to, um, how to build the rooms in such a way that the, the spirits would be confused and trapped. And, and trapped, yeah. Or, or, yeah, would be drawn away from the living quarters. And there's multiple sightings of apparitions oh, yeah. uh, staff workers you know uh visitors you know lots of paranormal investigations going on in there but once again going back to the thing that we talk about is if you believe it's haunted it's going to be haunted and the more you investigate it the more haunted, the more haunted it's going to become get, right exactly so that's uh, that should goes back to our theory guys so <laughs> um, and she was kind of a, a recluse and very eccentric. Yeah. Um, and after her husband passed away, she dressed exclusively in black. Yep. Yep. And then she she built the house just to uh, appease the the vengeful spirits. Right. I mean, you know, she managed construction uh, herself without formal architecture training of any sort. But like, who needs that if you're just Rich. Building a rat maze. Yeah, you just, just <laughs> have mean, contractors do it. You, you know, know, constantly. You know, and and her, like I said, her personal uh, personal money just funded the thing. You know, the money she was making from from the selling rifles. Yep. Now this thing encompasses four point five acres of gardens, right? Um, a variety of exotic plants and trees. Uh, there's a hedge maze. Yeah. You know. Uh, and and that's all designed with the same kind of eccentric flair that, you know, the house was yeah, designed the same with. Same sort of mishmash pattern of. And and guys, if you want to take a trip to San Jose, California, it's all open to the public. You know, they want you to come in and check it out, and yeah. um, it is all open to the public. And I do recommend going to their website because I did go to their website and check it out. There's a lot of good information there because you know how Bob and I feel. We'll dip our toe in. You guys go, yeah. go do some research go on your own. In. So. <laughs> Um, now, obviously, this is, you know, in a lot of books and movies and TV yeah. shows. Oh, and yeah, lots of Of course, movies. we have the Winchesters, you know, and Supernatural right, show. Right, right. Uh, and that's probably why. Thanks for the corn, Amy. It's your turn.
Your it's turn, corn. <laughs> it's a big lump with knobs. It has the juice. <laughs> 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 they love when you sing, Bob. They say you get so into it. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, uh, Stephen King wrote a book, uh, Rose Red, that mm. they made into a uh, TV ser series about that. That's loosely based on the the Winchester Mystery House. It's really good if you ever get a chance to see it. You know, um, to rabbit hole here momentarily. Thank you, Amy. Um, to rabbit hole here momentarily as we talk about paranormal and and people going in investigating we have two announcements yeah and I'm gonna go ahead and hit those now guys we have the Lemp Mansion yeah Bob and I are putting the money up to to do the Lemp Mansion um, and we do you know we ask that uh, you know uh, those that want to go, we have 12 people. It's going to be 10250 a person, right? And that is simply the cost of the overnight stay in the Lemp Mansion. Yeah. We are not charging anything extra. 10250 is simply what it's going to cost for people to stay there. So, um, we also, coming up, I just got verification yesterday that we will be doing a live investigation in the New Athens, Illinois Historical Society Museum and Building yep. um, on July 6th. Yep. That's the Saturday. So July 6th, we got that coming up too. So we have a live investigation and we have the, the Lemp Mansion. Now yep. we do have three people that said, yes, we're absolutely going. We have two other people that said, we're 80% sure we're going. So that means that we have more room. We have uh, what that, eight, seven, more, eight, seven, more. seven more spots. Yeah. So I know that if we're short on spots, I will go ahead and stay. You know what yeah. I mean? If we're not filling it up, I'll go ahead and stay. Right. Uh, because Bob and I literally live yeah, 15, 15 minutes away from yeah. it. Like, I can legit be there from my house in 14 minutes. If, if I had a boat, I could get there in probably like three four. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it takes a long time to drive around the river. Yeah, so you could be there in like 15, 20 minutes too. Yeah. So so after the investigation, you know, Bob and I thought that um, the more you guys that get to stay, then the better off it is and Bob yeah. and I will go home. If we can get 12 of you guys, that'd be great. We'll go home. Right. Um, if not, I'll like I said, I'll take a spot. And I'm sure you and Angie would probably take yeah, a spot too. That's fine. If it comes if it comes down to it. I mean, you know, but we also have another paranormal group that would be interested in going from Kentucky, which are the ones that just followed us on the Patreon. Oh. Fine. If we have empty spots, they would like them, but I would rather it fill up with us first. Right. Right? Because these are our peeps, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to investigate different than this other team is going to investigate. Right. So I'd rather have us and everybody that knows us there first. Yeah. And so, and I, I may have a friend and his or his wife and, and a friend of hers. So that may be two more. So if we could fill it up with you guys, that's what we want. Um, send either Bob or myself an email. Actually, I'd, I'd rather you send it to me. Uh, because I'm the one talking to the Lent Mansion. Um, send it to investigator.todd.paranormal at gmail. It's at the end of the podcast in the credits if you want to see that. Yeah. So, but sorry to rabbit hole, but that's like awesome news. Yeah, that's cool. And then um, the New Athens thing on the 6th, we're going to meet them there at 9 30. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're going to have three of their people. So I told them they could bring two or three. And. Uh, we are going to give a $50 donation, and we were talking about um, all of our followers here. A bunch of them said they'd be willing to throw in for us that $50 for us to no. go and do that investigation because right. they like it. So um, I will put out my... Uh, <laughs> I touched that. I don't remember anything. Yeah, we were talking about the, the words touched in the head mm. last night. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'll put out my cash app if you guys want to help 
uh, pay that fifty dollars for us to go out and do that investigation. We'd appreciate. It. I mean, we'd pay it anyway. But you yeah. know, if, if if you guys want to want to help donate, um, yep, uh, you know, feel free. So. Also, don't forget the coins that are coming in. Those go to the Save an Ass Foundation yeah. <laughs> for new chairs. For new chairs, yeah. New chairs. So, well, so uh, let's come back out of that rabbit hole. I just popped into my head, and I knew I'd forget about it if I didn't say it. It's very, very important stuff. Um, so, like Bob was saying, there's a bunch of movies and books and and yeah. TV shows and yeah. everything about. The Winchester House. And it's House. been in TV shows and yeah. other things. So. And it's been on the TV so many times, it's not yeah. even 20. Not even funny. <laughs> not even 20. I can't even talk about it. Um, so it is on the National Register's of Historic Place. Yeah. And it undergoes continuous restoration to maintain its condition. Yeah. Because if you're trying to keep up 160 rooms with bizarre features, it's going to take a lot of work. Yeah. I know. Uh, I'm sure there's people working in there at all times. The construction continued until 1922 so that's a hundred yeah 102 years ago that they, yeah. they finished working on it you know on the construction so, so the yeah maintaining started a hundred you know, year old building yeah so, so you can imagine and it, it has termite damage and it has water damage you can imagine water damage because right. it's got 50 what do they say 52 skylights in a hundred year old house Right. So I imagine there's a lot of water damage and you Leaking know, just and everything going on. Get to it. I can't imagine what it would cost to roof this place. Matt right here. <laughs> Almost got him. <laughs> um, so it's now it's managed by a private foundation. Yeah. Um, like I said, they do tours and all that kind of stuff, and and you know, uh, grab that grab that 360 you know uh, tour, you know, help them keep this place alive. You know, it's actually a pretty cool looking thing, the tour. Like you can see it, like they they show the picture. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw the picture as I was looking at the web page. I haven't grabbed the tour yet, but it's you see it's just a jumble of rooms, man. It just looks like a blob of rooms right. because it's there's so many rooms. That's such a wild thing to see. That'd be cool you could do like the three sixty on your phone, like mm -hmm. put it in the little dock. That'd be awesome. Um, they offer guided tours and then they do like flashlight tours and Halloween stuff mm -hmm. and you know yeah enhanced visitor experiences yeah. and oh yeah you know so um they do a mansion tour garden tour behind the scenes tour uh a lot flashlight. of interactive exhibits you know those flashlight tours are fun they're extra spooky <laughs> you could do like some places do like the lantern tours you ever yeah. seen those where they give everybody a little lantern and you because you, you can't spotlight anything with it yeah so it's even it's even and that's the worst too because i you know there's a lot of <laughs> like that's like one of the worst things you could do is actually have a lantern because anywhere you're trying to hold the lantern, up, you're looking into the light. Right, right, right. You know, it's like it's better to hold the lantern at your side. But it's spookier that way. Yeah, but people like to hold it up in front of them. You can't see well because you're looking at the light, genius. Right. <laughs> more uh, spooky. It's more spooky. <laughs> see if we can uh, we can see if we can pull some more data out of this uh, out of the Wikipedia here. Um, Okay, so I'm, I'll, I'll read to you guys the Wikipedia on it real quick. Um, Sarah Winchester, always called Sally, after her paternal grandmother, was born in 1839 in New Haven, Connecticut. She married William Work Manchester in 1862. In 1866, Winchester gave birth to a girl named Annie Pardee Winchester, diagnosed with marasmus. She did not thrive and only lived a month. Uh, between the, which, which also she um sarah blamed the death of her daughter on on the on the, the spirits of thing. the of the the fallen so um between the fall of 1880 and the spring of 1881 winchester's mother-in-law and husband died and she was left with a large inheritance from her husband in 1884 her eldest sister mary conversed i around this time she began developing rheumatoid arthritis and her doctor suggested that a warmer and drier climate might help improve her health. So in 1885, at the age of 46, uh, she moved to California from New Haven, Connecticut. And according to Mary Jo Ignoff in her book, Captive of the Eleventh, Sarah L. Winchester, Heirs of Rifle Fortune, her doctors recommended her happy memories of traveling to San Francisco with her husband in the 1870s and, adver and advertising about the weather and health benefits of California were possible factors in the decision to move out there. 
So she invited her three remaining sisters to follow her to California and basically that's when it all kind of started. She felt that she needed to appease the spirits and kind of went from there. Yeah. So, you know, and if you if you guys get on the internet, like I said, we like we like to dip our toes in and really like for you guys to go yeah. go and take a look. If you look at the pictures of this place on the internet, this is not just some shack. Yeah, this man. is a legit every room is mansion. Yeah. Like every room is high quality it's all beautiful wood. wood yeah you know uh just a gorgeous gorgeous place so definitely definitely check that out so i'm gonna see mahogany. how long we've been going here this is kind of they a short one a... today 35 minutes yeah we're definitely a short podcast today we're gonna rabbit hole on some stuff it's a teak maple and mahogany and it's hand carved there's a ballroom floor that's all hardwood it's amazing how much how much money it would take you know to whoo. nowadays yeah. that would be but you got to think though you know we always say that but you got to think that was the building material at the time yeah you know what i mean now brick and plywood and all that stuff is so cheap that those are expensive because they're rare yeah you know but yeah but still though if you guys look at these pictures i mean it is absolutely freaking gorgeous i mean granite the like the mahogany and that kind of stuff. That definitely, I'm sure, was even expensive was back then. Not natural to California. Yeah. So that stuff would have been very expensive back then, Having too. shipped all the way from, you know, the Midwest mm -hmm. out to California to be used as a building material. That That's not cheap, either. No. <laughs> no. Uh, let's see, what else we got in here? Lots of chandeliers. From Germany. Uh, from Germany. Art glass from Austria. Uh, furnishings from Asia, paintings from France. Um, the Enunciator so. has a, a built-in uh, mechanical intercom system. So that's with the tubes. Yeah. You know, so you talk into the tube and then it goes through the house to the room that you want to talk to. That's kind of cool. Uh, a large brick fireplace was framed by two windows that include the quotes from Shakespeare. Uh, the some of the bedrooms upstairs on the second floor were almost like a little apartment themselves. They had a sewing room and a sitting room attached to the bedroom. Uh, the, the wall coverings had a metal or leather appearance in some of the rooms. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. So, <laughs> oh, um, you have to change your, you have to reset your goal there if you want, Bob. That yeah. you're all corned out. That's good. We put, we put a big goal. So. But, um, so if you are interested in doing the Lemp Mansion, yeah, let us know. Definitely send me an email um, or just, you know, I know I've talked individually with some people that, that already know we're going. And uh, so, like yeah. I said, there's three definites, two possibles, and then we're announcing to the rest of the people now. So, and then me, you, and Angie, maybe, depending yeah. on how many other people we get. Um, then a couple other people. So we're, we could get real close to 12 real fast. Yeah. Now, guys. And it's 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 an intimate thing with only yeah. 12 people. And we're going to do like a Q&A type thing where mm -hmm. we, we, we can answer questions. And then we'll actually help with the investigation up to a certain point. We'll be doing a podcast yeah. uh, while we're there. We'll be doing the podcast for, for that Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, you guys will be live on the podcast and uh, even be part of the interactive podcast. But let me let me let me put this in terms for you guys. Um, the Lemp Mansion is one of the top ten most haunted places in the nation. Yeah, it always. This is a destination for paranormal investigators. It's a bucket list thing. It is, yeah, an absolute bucket list thing. This is something that you could tell the stories about for the rest of your life. This is, I went to the Lemp Mansion, which yeah. is like super haunted place, and you look it up, whatever. Exclusive. And, and I went, and I went with this paranormal group, and it was 12 of us, and it was awesome. We had the whole mansion to ourselves. Now, when I say you have the whole mansion to yourself, your room key literally comes with a key to the back door on it. Yeah. Because once everything's done, the staff are gone. Yeah. It's just going to be us. There's nobody else going to be in there. It's right. just going to be us. 
when you leave, you go out the back door and lock the back door when you leave. Like if you want to go somewhere. Right. So it will just be us. And, and on top of that, um, I don't know, are you planning on getting off that day? Yeah. Okay, so I had an idea that we could, remember that we talked about our perfect day? Mm -hmm. We'll meet up in the morning, 10, 11 ish, over at Cahokia Mounds. Do the Cahokia Mounds for an hour or so. Go over to that Mexican restaurant that you said was nearby that was good. Oh, yeah. And then kind of go off and do our thing, get ready, whatever we want to do. Uh, check in, I think, is at five, but I'll get that clarified. But I think check in might be at five. Okay. Um, I'll get that clarified. Maybe later go catch some dinner before it all starts. Check in, get some dinner, because obviously we want to wait until it gets dark out. So as a group, maybe we'll go find a place to have some dinner. And then as it gets dark out, we'll go to the investigation. It'll be a whole fucking paranormal awesomeness day. <laughs> um, for those of you guys that, that don't know, that have been listening, that are new to the podcast, um, the Cahokia Mounds is actually a lost civilization here in the Midwest that a lot of people don't know about. Uh, yeah. Go back and check out our fourth podcast. Uh, not the best of podcasts, you know, yeah. that was our beginning yeah, stuff. Yeah, we were just getting started. We were just getting started, but, you know, if you want all that information, uh, <laughs> go watch that podcast or check out the, the Cahokia Mounds, and uh, it is basically a lost civilization here in the Midwest. And so we'll go check out that site, and you can get through that site in an hour, hour and a half, Yeah. you know, and see see pretty much everything, Right. you know. Uh, and it's a day, it's a, it's, it'll be a weekday, so the museum will be open. Right. So we'll be able to go into the museum there and, and the gift shop and all that kind of stuff. And it should be a freaking awesome day, guys. It yeah. should be an absolutely awesome day. Hey, JJ, how you doing? Yeah, the mounds thing will be cool for for people who aren't, you know. Yeah, from, from around there this area. I'm, I grew up there, so I can I can give you a lot of insight to that that area that a lot of people, even local paranormal groups, wouldn't be able to give you right because we you know we used to live there so <laughs> there you go so i can show you like this is a street right here it was a street and the house is here and here and then you know this was where the block ended well not only that so <laughs> when it comes to the lemp mansion bob and i have given oh a hundreds hundreds of tours, of tours. Yeah. like we know the insides and outs we know every place that this happened or that happened or or different looks of paranormal experiences you know we we know everything there is to know about the Lent Mansion. Yeah. I mean, we're a little rusty. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little rusty yeah, on I the facts, been there but a long time. But. but you know, we know where things happened, and like it is gonna be. Um, what happened to our other app? Oh, uh, what happened to my other account? It's still there. I'm still working on it. Uh, I got I got three accounts going. <laughs> 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 I got I got my. Uh, I got my irons and a lot of fires here. I got a lot, a lot of irons in the fire. Yeah. So, um, but yeah. So, absolutely, come out there. Let us know if you want to come out. One hundred and two dollars and fifty cents a person is what we're looking at, and there's no markup on that. And that's one of the things the Lemp Mansion actually. They're like, you're not going to sell tickets or anything. I'm like, nope. We're going to split up the cost between everybody. You know, um, we may make it a little cheaper for this person or that person because there are two rooms that have bathrooms. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And they are, they are um, a queen bed, and, a <clears throat> and you get a bathroom. The other one is the William Lemp suite, where you get a queen bed and a big bathroom, yeah. um, and a and a nice table and everything. And the other two rooms, the one room upstairs can be separated by a door, right? The other room on the second floor, there's no way to separate it. It's just two very large rooms with a bed in each. Yeah. So, and those rooms, those other rooms you have to go down the hall to use the bathroom. So I recommend going potty before you go to bed. <laughs> Unless you want to go walk around the Lemp Mansion in the dark. In the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. Yeah. Um, which, um, <clears throat> and like you said, there's cameras. Yeah, there's 24 hour cameras. House, yeah, so, so don't wake up in your jammies and walk down the hallway if you don't. Yeah, if you sleep <laughs> naked, no going to the bathroom in the middle of the night naked. Right. Just saying. So that is, that is coming up August 20th. Um, if you are going, we do prefer that, you know, you let us know and, um, we'd appreciate 
because like I said, Bob and I are coming out of pocket to pay in advance yeah. because we have to. That for us right. to reserve this, we have to come out of pocket in advance. Yeah. So we'd appreciate if you guys would pay us back sooner rather than later. Yeah, because we're we're the small group. Yeah, we're middle do. class and guys. You know, the we, we doesn't care that yeah. you have a, a podcast. They're like, yeah, whatever. Are, are you yeah. with Discovery Channel? Or do you yeah. get the travel channel? <laughs> no. Then, no, then give us the money right here. Then pay up front, sucker. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so, yep, we. Um, you know, we encourage you guys to to take this opportunity. Like I said, it's going to be a full day, a once in a lifetime opportunity to go out here and check this out. Yeah. Um, I mean, that should make for a, a pretty darn good day. You know, we don't want to overdo it. That's why we want to kind of rest up. I mean, yeah. if people want to take a nap in the afternoon or whatever, you know, I mean, we won't have the rooms yet. But um, I was thinking like. They can check in at five. That gives them opportunity to have the room or whatever, and we can like kick off at like nine. Yeah. You know, right. and that way, if people want to catch a nap before we do the inve you know investigation all night or whatever, or you get your stuff. You, you know, know, you got to go hit the store before you go to bed. You yeah. Know, get um, some snacks or something. Yep. <laughs> yep. And then that way we can kick off. We meet up at nine, kick off the investigation at ten, go live do the podcast or we could do we could meet up at nine you and i can meet up at nine downstairs and start the podcast yeah and we can kick off the investigation at 10. yeah and like i said the the when we record the podcast that night it'll be uh question and answers it'll be open forum so you guys can physically be there and ask questions in real time like if anything any of our past you know shows that you wanted wanted more in-depth discussion about or if you wanted to know about other things than what we usually cover you know because we, I, I do research a lot of stuff that we don't talk about on here. Because I, I have a collection of rare. That's why he's Wiki Bob. Rare weird <laughs> books. Like I, like I, I, I said last week, I was very excited that. Uh, You're getting a reprint of Louise the first edition. Hubner's, yeah, Louise Hubner's daughter sent me a copy of her mother's book that was very, 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 very rare, and I'm, I'm very honored to have it. And I, I recently bought a pressing of uh, um, Vincent Price's lectures on witchcraft mm -hmm. that was printed in, in uh, 1970. Really? There's only, there was only 3,000 copies of it ever made, and they, they go for hundreds and hundreds of dollars, and I have one now. Nice. So that's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're, what you're saying, Bob, is we need to get you a real bookcase for our new studio. Yeah. So we can have put all of all, all of my cool. books and all my stuff on display because I, that record is one of my like bucket list things that I've always wanted to have because he talks about a lot of, a lot of stuff that he probably shouldn't have been talking about you know like witchcraft and and nice demonolatry and stuff like that that you know because he was into that stuff like magicians and mm -hmm. you know what I mean so he made he made a, a two record set where he just talk nothing nothing but witchcraft and and that wow stuff. and it's very very hard to get your hands on that's so, awesome yeah so guys uh we hope that we entertained you for a good half hour and yeah. um you know hope you guys go and learn more about the winchester mansion yeah and definitely get on their website don't totally worth it totally like I said i took a sneak peek yesterday totally totally worth it um if you need to get hold of bob and i the our email addresses are at the end of the podcast so yep. make sure you stick around for that we added new patreon members so make sure that you know if you want to become immortalized in the podcast join the patreon we'll add you to the patreon page at the end uh, in the yeah. credits um you know the further you are up the list the earlier you're a member so you know you'll stay further right. up the list right. you'll be like look at me i'm number three right or i'm number two wait we got oh. One whole column of people now. We, yep, got, we like, have four up to five. Two more spaces, and then we'll have to make two columns. Ooh. <laughs> Look at there. We're getting so big. <laughs> so, um, if you ever want to check out Bob's stuff, everything is RS Curtis, or uh, the Real Veritas Project is the yeah. email. But RS Curtis with the Veritas Project on all the social medias. And I'm Investigator Todd on all, all the social medias, and Investigator dot todd dot paranormal gmail 
I know it's a long, I'm sorry it's a long email, but trying to make a Gmail these days is yeah, a nightmare. Right. They're all taken up. <coughs> you put in something, and it's, oh, I'm sorry, that's taken. It's like, really? Yeah. You know? My favorite so, is when you go to get like your name, like, yeah. in, in, in an in a, a email address and someone has it. And you're like, yeah. what? Who? Who is squatting on my email yeah, you know, that's in exactly. my, my long form name? You know <laughs> right? what I mean? Like, come on, dude. So, are we forgetting anything? Many? Is there anything you can think of? You want to? I don't think throw so. Throw out there? No, nothing. Okay. All right, guys. We may we may put together some stuff to sell uh, at the at the lamp. Oh, that's that's true too. We could we could do something for you guys. We might have like a T-shirt or something. Yeah. Maybe we'll make like a. I don't know. You'll be able to sell your pins. Like an event t-shirt. Yeah, the pins. We definitely have some pins. And those are limited. Those are, how many of those do you have right now? I have 60. So those pins are limited. There's only 60. Yeah. Well, 59 because you gave me one. I, <laughs> I've given a, couple, a handful of them out <laughs> okay. to people. So now there's like 55 of them. Right. So even more limited now. <laughs> so, you know, check us out on the YouTube. And... Uh, how much stuff do you have on Spotify? How much do we have? How hard is it to upload to Spotify? It's a nightmare to upload to Spotify. Oh, is it really? <laughs> yes. It takes forever to upload on Spotify. I know you sat here one day and did yeah. like six of them. Right. Because it just... it's not like YouTube where you put all your assets in there and then mm -hmm. you just leave it and then it uploads for like an hour and a half. Yeah, you said you have to sit you here. You have to physically sit here and watch it because it'll time out and then you have to do the caption. It is... It's the uh, most unuser friendly thing ever made, and I, you know we don't have a person that that does our editing that we can pay to just sit there and deal with it. You know I have to do it, <laughs> so it's like I got other stuff I could be doing than sitting in front of the computer going, "Yes, I'm a human. Thank you, stupid." You know, <laughs> over and over again. You know. Uh, but <laughs> poor Bob right. works his butt off. Uh, don't forget to join Bob tomorrow. We'll be live. Yep. Uh, around 9 a.m. ish when he gets up kind of a thing <laughs> um, you know he'll be editing the, this podcast and then uh, I, I usually jump in and we chit chat about stuff and yeah. you know you can join us again if you want to want to hear us talk garbage about garbage I yeah. mean <laughs> that's literally what we do we just kind of just kind of chit chat and I went and saw the ghost movie yesterday. I saw so, that. I saw that yeah. you were there. So if you're a fan of ghost, <coughs> the band like I am, then we can talk about that tomorrow. Because I'm there you go. so excited about that movie. Uh, it was uh, so well, good. I was like, what is he... Because it said you were at... You were at the theater by my house. And I was right. like, what is he... What is... What is this movie? And I looked it up and I'm like, what the hell is it? Oh, I'm <laughs> so, such a huge <laughs> fan of the band. So, yeah. So I saw you went to the movies yesterday. Yeah. So... You know, like I said, come check us out, YouTube, all the socials. Yeah. And remember, stay curious. And find the truth, and we'll catch you guys next time on the podcast. Thanks for joining us, everybody. See ya.